There's a new variant out. Trust me, it made me sick. Wait, what? Oh no, not that. The Genie Company recently released new versions of their retail garage door opener motors called the Signature Series, and these are exclusive to the Home Depot brand. And there's two reasons why you might want to consider these motors, but one reason why I think you shouldn't. Let's party. Hey party people, we're meeting for the first time. My name is Santiago from SOS Garage Door Service and on this channel, we provide you pro tips and tech reviews for your residential garage door needs. So if that's of any value to you, please hit that thumbs up button because that would really help out the channel. And if you haven't yet, I hope you consider subscribing. So the motor that I'm gonna be focusing on in this video is the Genie 7055D TKSV. This particular model is exclusive to the Home Depot brand. Now I'm not going to get in depth into a review because it's more of an update. In fact, I have a review that this garage door opener motor, there's a link in the description where you can see that review, but I'm revisiting this garage door opener motor because again, this is a new variant. That is a new version. There's some things that Genie did to it that I'm not quite sure benefit you, the homeowner. Now for context, this particular model has a quiet belt drive motor, two remote transmitters, a wireless keypad, battery backup, but it does not come with Wi-Fi technology. And so that's one of the benefits we're gonna highlight, being that some customers or homeowners do not want Wi-Fi technology to their garage door opener motor. In some cases, these homeowners have a detached garage and their Wi-Fi does not extend all the way over to their garage unit. Thus, it's no benefit to them to have Wi-Fi technology when they can't even utilize it. In addition to that, you have a lot of customers that simply don't want internet connected products to their home. They simply want the bare bones, straightforward garage door opener experience. Thus, it's one of the models that I will suggest to homeowners that are looking for a retail based garage door opener that will simply provide them what they need in order to get their garage door up and down. And another benefit to this model is the fact that it comes at a cheaper price due to the omission of the Wi-Fi technology. And thus, customers are looking for their best deal possible to get a motor that will give them the most options just to get their garage door opener working on a day-to-day -day basis. And at the publication of this video, the 7055D, the 7055, and this particular model, the TKSV from Home Depot, is roughly under $200. Now those are the two reasons why I think some customers would consider this garage door opener model. Now Genie did not change much to the function or features of this garage door opener motor. You're basically getting the same type of system from the original Genie 7055. Now the only difference that you're going to find is that aesthetically it has some new curves, it has some new lines, and it looks completely different from the outside. But on the inside, it works exactly the same. Now, one of my pet peeves to this garage door opener motor is the rail assembly. I wish Genie would invest more research and development to their pieced rail assemblies. These rail assemblies, they interlock, but they don't have a locking system to keep those pieces together. And quite frankly, that's one of the main failings or one of the main reasons why I do not like the pieced rail assembly to the Genie retail line. I almost always prefer going with a one piece rail assembly through a dealer contractor or going with one of the pro line motors through a dealer contractor. Therefore, if you are a do-it-yourselfer, please keep in mind that the majority of your time will be spent on assembling that rail assembly, and that can be a tedious task. So take your time because there's many pieces to it that if you make a mistake or if you miss a step, you're gonna have to start all over again, and that can be really frustrating. So what's that one reason why I think you should not consider this motor? Well, you're probably gonna think I'm crazy, but basically, it's the light covers. Now hear me out. Now for years, Genie has had a single mold for their light covers and these light covers come in a variety of shapes from rounds to domes to a little bit more pointier. The point is, is that these single shaped light covers were simple and easy to install. But that's all changed with the Signature Series because Genie has now decided to go with a two-piece light cover. 
Again, you're gonna think I'm crazy, but this two-piece light cover design is not seamless. There's gaps between them. At first, I thought I was doing something wrong, but I have installed a number of these garage door opener motors, and they simply don't align together. They're very poorly made, and I can't, for the life of me, understand why Genie would go this route. Genie, you had a good thing with the single mold light cover. Why change now to this two-piece light cover knowing that it really wasn't going to seamlessly work together? In fact, there's gaps between them that quite frankly, I know some customers are gonna pay attention to detail and they're gonna think, that doesn't look right. What's wrong with my motor? What did you do to my motor? But of course, I feel that it's my responsibility as a dealer installer to point these things out because most customers are going to pay attention to those details. In fact, everything is within the details and particularly because you have this $200 garage door opener motor on top of that whatever installation fee, the customers are going to want to make sure, hey, am I getting my money's worth? And again, this is the one reason why I feel you should pass on this motor because even though Signature Series sounds nice, it lacks the finesse and character of the name. It's really not that signature in my opinion. And if Genie continues to go with this two-piece mold or this two-piece light cover design from here on out in the retail line, well, I think some customers are going to pay attention to that. They're going to take notice and they're probably going to make a different buying decision. Hey, but what do I know? This is just my opinion. Of course, you might have a completely different opinion. In fact, you might have purchased this motor or variations of this motor already and you simply love it. That's great. If you have an opinion or if you're curious about some of the different versions of this series or signature series motors, or if you're curious about another brand of motor, please leave a comment or question down below. I'd love to be able to respond to it. And of course, the pro tips, techniques, and ideas in these videos should not be considered law or infallible. Why? Well, because I'm nobody. But at the same time, it's important for you to understand your garage door needs and your garage door configurations. And if you don't care to know those things, we'll reach out to a contractor because that's what we're there for. In fact, if the Genie Signature Series Retail Garage Door Opener Motors still sounds like a party to you, well then check out some of the affiliate links in the description. In fact, I'll even provide some of my suggestions or some motors of my preference within the Genie line that I think would make a better buy. That's gonna be it for this one, party people. I wanna thank you so much for watching this video and partying with me. Now please check out this other video right here that can provide you more pro tips and tech reviews for your residential garage door needs. And as always, now stay safe.